Hi, I'm Roland with Help Desk Cafe and I'm here to help you with your blue screen of death. So first of all, what causes the blue screen of death? There are usually about three things that can cause the blue screen of death or BSOD for short on your device. The first is that a new piece of hardware is not compatible with your machine. So this can be a new printer, a new webcam, or many other devices that you may have just recently installed on your computer. A second possibility is that a new application that you may have recently installed or a new Windows update are not compatible with your computer. Now, if the blue screen of death happened while you were using your computer, make sure the first thing that I want you to do is to write down the error code that appears on the screen. Now, if unfortunately you weren't able to get the error code, don't worry, most likely it's not gonna cause any issue. It just may make your process a little bit longer. Now I want you to think about any recent changes that you've made to your computer. So maybe you just finished installing a new application on your system. Well, most likely that's what's causing the blue screen of death. So what we're gonna have to do is actually boot into something called the safe mode or it's also called the Windows recovery environment in order to access your computer and uninstall the program. Now, if you know that a Windows update was just installed, maybe last night, this is probably the most common thing that causes the blue screen of death. And it's a very similar process to if you installed an incompatible application. What you're gonna have to do is boot into safe mode on your computer and then actually roll back the updates. And by roll back, what that means is that it'll actually uninstall the new updates and restore it to the previous version. Okay, so let's jump into the computer and let me show you how to do it. Okay, so first I want to make sure that you know how to get your PC into safe mode. Now it's not the easiest or um, most convenient thing to do in the world, but I do have this article right in front of me, which is directly from Microsoft. Uh, so I'll make sure to include the link down in the description if you have any trouble following along. I'm not going to go too in depth into each step, um, but if you check out the article, you'll be able to see right here um, all the different ways to get your computer into safe mode so that we can um, fix any driver issues with your computer or application issues. So um, from here, it really depends on the state of your computer. If you're currently logged in, uh, then you can actually access Safe Boot from the settings menu. And as you can see, there's a few steps here. Uh, you're gonna wanna go to the Windows um, button and then go to settings. And here, I'll show you how to do that. Settings, and then let's see what's next. Uh, you go to update and security and then recovery. Update and security. You go to recovery down here on the left. And then you can see right there, advanced startup. So that's what you're going to want to click or start now. I'm not going to do it now because you're not, I'm not, wouldn't be able to finish this video. Okay. So that's from the settings menu. Uh, once you click the, that button that I just showed you right now, uh, you'll go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and then startup settings, and then it'll restart. Again, you can check out the link in the description. And from the sign-in screen, if you can't log in for whatever reason, um, there's also an option here. And I'm not going to be able to demonstrate that right now, but um, here are the steps. Uh, from the sign-in screen, you hold the Shift key, and then you select the Power button, and then there'll be an option to restart. Don't forget to hold down the Shift key because that might... Um, if you don't hold it down, you probably won't get the option to restart the computer. After that, um, you're going to have the ability to access the same menu that we we looked at before, this one from settings menu. Same thing, uh, you just go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and then startup settings again. And then there you go, you're at the same screen to restart. And if you're not logged in and you can't get the sign in screen, uh, this is probably the most common way that you'll actually have to go into here. Uh, now bear with me, there's a lot of powering on and turning back on and craziness like that. So 
Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is what it says right here hold down the button the power button for 10 seconds to turn off your device uh, make sure you hold it for 10 seconds and then you know computer's going to be off press the power button again excuse the wind in the back it's very windy <laughs> right now in my city so uh, press the power button it's going to turn back on and then when you see the little window sign um, or not necessarily the window sign, but the manufacturer logo for the monitor uh, or your computer. You hold down the power button for another 10 seconds. So that's twice already. And then you're gonna press the power button again to turn on your device. And then when window comes back on, you're gonna hold the power button down for 10 seconds again. Now that's three times you're gonna do that. And three is usually the charm. If it doesn't work, try it another time. Um, but usually three times, shut it off with the power button for 10 seconds and then turn it back on, do it again. And then you're going to, once you restart, you're gonna be in the WinRE, which is, stands for the Windows Recovery Environment. And, and as you could tell, you're gonna be in the exact same screen as we've seen in the other options. Startup settings, restart, and then you're gonna be into safe boot. Now the first thing or I want to demonstrate for you is just what happens when you get into uh, the Windows recovery environment or safe mode, as I like to call it. Uh, while there may be just some display uh, differences, uh, sometimes it'll display in, um, in a smaller uh, box on your screen. There may be no color, it really depends. Um, but that's not too important. Uh, what is is that you're going to want to go to the device manager let me uh, show you again it's device manager i want to go quick there device manager and as you can see is this one right here and what you're going to want to do if this is a driver issue most likely you'll see something like this as you can see there's a little yellow flag here like a little yellow sign and that usually indicates that there's something wrong with a driver on your computer now the driver helps your computer communicate with a specific piece of hardware connected to it so what you want to do if let's just say you're having a problem with your display um, your display card your graphics card sorry uh, under display adapters let's see we have Intel HD graphics and for my computer it's integrated into the actual processor um, but what you're going to want to do is right click on your specific one that has the little yellow flag go to properties select the driver tab and then as you can tell there's an option right here that says rollback driver and what that'll do is of course restore it to the previous working state um, before it was updated and you could also try to update the driver um, before you do this in case there's a new update and that's what's preventing it from uh, actually giving your computer the blue screen of death. So make sure to try that. And I'm not gonna do that of course because I'm not gonna be able to see the screen. So um, you can try the update or you can try to roll back if that doesn't work. Another option is if you, for example, have two graphics cards, you could try disable, disable one of them and see if the other one um, actually allows your computer to boot up fine. And another thing that you're gonna wanna do is if in the case that you installed a program that's actually crashing your computer, you're gonna wanna uninstall it. So you can go to on, you can just search for uninstall, uninstall, and you can see add or remove programs right here. Select that, scroll down, find the program that you recently installed. Uh, for example, let's just say calculator, and you just click this button to uninstall it. And Keep doing that with the recent application you installed to see which one actually brings your computer back to life. And that's about it. So I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next step.
So if you know that you haven't installed any new applications recently and that no new Windows updates have been installed, then what we're gonna do is actually think about the hardware, so the actual physical pieces of your computer. So this really is a fairly simple fix. If you've installed any new pieces of equipment onto your computer, then make sure to uninstall them and check to see whether your system is restored to normal. So if you've maybe installed a new RAM module on your computer or a new graphics card, what I want you to do is actually uninstall them and if applicable, reinstall the old piece that you had originally and see if that makes your computer actually go back to operating normally. I also want you to make sure to uninstall or actually remove any USB devices, new USB devices that you may have recently purchased and connected to your computer because they can also cause the blue screen of death. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope that these steps have helped cure your blue screen of death for your computer. If they haven't, make sure to head over to Help Desk Cafe for more tutorial videos. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up down below.